Hi, I'm Mohamed Reza Beruzi. We are proud of ourselves that you watch our videos and we can make a small contribution towards your knowledge improvements. These videos that we have uploaded on our website or on our YouTube channel consist of notes and real case examples from our last projects. Those projects were performed by a team of professionals and experts. Therefore, by watching these videos, you can gain tremendous amount of knowledge and experience by which you can design your process units, your plants with higher safety. You are our only a sponsor. So, if you enjoy the video, at the end, hit the like and subscribe so that you can get informed about our latest videos. In this episode, we are going to talk about line sizing for different applications using Excel sheet and Aspen Plus results. So, at first, we expand our knowledge about design criteria for line sizing for different applications, for gas applications, for liquid applications, and for mixer applications. Then we use Excel sheet to calculate the diameter of the pipe or the line for that specific application and check whether the suggested diameter for that pipe meets the criteria or not. We try we perform trial and error until we reach optimized diameter for that specific segment of pipe. Then we use Aspen Plus in order to verify our results. Remember that when it comes to simulation of process blanks or, calcula or calculations of line sizing, remember to use two or three softwares. By, for instance, Aspen Hysis or Excel Sheets perform the preliminary sizing of that line or by Aspen Hysis simulate the process plans and then use Aspen Plus in order to verify all of the results, whether it is line sizing or whether it is the simulation of process plans or refineries. In my perspective, Aspen Plus is the best simulation software, process simulation software process engineers, professionals should use when it comes to process plan simulations. It has a strong property packages. Anyway, let's go to the main issue here and see what we have, what we should learn about uh, design criteria for line sizing. Later, you can download this PDF, EIPD design criteria and Go to this page, 77, 76, and start reviewing these sentences from this document. Line sizing criteria. This paragraph shall not be applied to the filler lines. First and foremost, it is an important sentence because uh, when it comes to filler line sizing, filler network sizing, we have different criteria for filler line sizing. By the way, uh, we have uploaded three comprehensive videos about filler package for, you know, thermal assessments of the filler, lockout ROM sizings, and filler network sizings using Aspen filler nets. You can go to our websites and watch those videos. 
the pressure drop and velocity guidelines provided may be used for the preliminary sizing of lines. However, final sizing shall also take into account other factors such as pump and PSH requirements, pressure drops available, and a specific process requirements or demands. Where specific maximum velocity limits are given, this shall not be exceeded. Right now, if you are a junior process engineer and you are learning in this line sizing criteria for the first time, you might not understand the meaning of this sentence. It is an extremely crucial sentence. Later, when you are involved in real practices, in real projects, you're going to understand the meaning of these sentences. Sometimes you calculate the diameter of the pipe based on the tables and criteria I'm going to instruct you, I'm going to show you, but the finalized diameter is not what you calculated. Why? Because we have some a specific process required. We have some specific process demands and here experience plays a crucial part anyway later I'm gonna show you I'm gonna give you uh, one example to make it clear for you and what I mean so here we have criteria for vapor and steam lines two tables, one table for vapor and steam lines, and one table for liquid line type. Let's start with this one. As you see here, the basis for our calculations when it comes to line sizing is this two table. Based on different applications, we have different Velocity here, it is called J factor or uh, velocity here, maximum velocity and pressure drop per kilometer, one kilometer. So, by looking at this table, I can understand that line sizing is not only a function of application a specific applications but also the operating condition of that application if you look at this column here you see we have different application here if it is continuous operations or here it is column overhead or let's say here if the line is going to be located for is going to be designed for steam lines or here if, for instance, uh, it is for a sweeper vaporator or kettle vaporators. And besides those uh, specific applications, in each applications, each of the operating parameters such as operating, such as operating pressures plays also an important part in this line sizing calculations for instance if the pressure is between 20 or 50 bar gauge the maximum velocity head should be this value or for instance if we are sizing a line for compressor suction the pressure drop is this one the normal pressure drop but if we are sizing uh, the line for compressor discharge the normal pressure drop should be this one and the maximum one should be this one now let's review all of them what we see here velocity head is a multiply between the density of the fluid and the, the velocity of the fluid powered by two as simple as this was so here we have two criteria velocity head and pressure drop 
Then we have continuous operations. If the pressure of that fluid is lower than or equal to maximum equal to 20 bar gauge, the velocity head should be maximum 6,000 with this unit. If the pressure between is between 20 to 50 bar gauge, it is 7,500. If the pressure is between 50 and 80 bar gauge, or equal to 80 bar gauge, it is 10,000. And the same happens. And of course, other criteria for different pressures, as you can see here. How about pressure drop? Here there is a note. Pressure drop must be considered compatible with corresponding service. Compressor suction or discharge, there is no velocity head exactly as specified by this criteria. But how about the pressure drop? The normal pressure drop is 0.2 for uh, compressor suction and 0.45 for compressor distance and the maximum value should be these numbers stated here. If you have this continuous operation with the following pressures then we have the corresponding values for velocity. Are you designing column overhead? Are you designing line for a stripper vaporator or kettle vaporator? Then the normal pressure drop should be this value and the maximum pressure drop should be this value. Remember, all of these are bar per kilometer. And if you are dealing with line sizing for steam lines, it has also its own story. If the pressure is lower than 10 bar gauge and you are designing and this application is going to be short line or short line, when we say short line, it means that the length of that pipe is lower than 200 meter. Then the velocity head maximum velocity head is 15,000 and the pressure drop, normal pressure drop for a short line should be 0.5 bar per kilometer and the maximum one bar per kilometer. How about long line? The maximum velocity is this value and but different pressure drops as you see here. If the pressure is between 10 bar gauge and 30 bar gauge, if it is short line and long line, if, if, and you have to follow this kind of if questions in order to check these criteria for each specific applications. For instance, if the pressure is more than 30 bar gauge and the short line, it is short line, the length of that pipe is lower than 20, uh, 200 meter you know in all of these ones the maximum velocity are the same for steam lines but the thing that is different here is the pressure drop for short line and for the long line for the short line the normal pressure drop is 1.2 and uh, for long line is 0.35 bar per kilometer and the maximum one are this one. Another thing that we have for steam lines and uh, which are uh, which is not stated for other application is the velocity, the maximum velocity in meter per second. The maximum velocity for a steam line, when the pressure is between 10 bar gauge and 30 bar gauge, should be 42 meter per second. But when the pressure is more than this one, the maximum velocity 
should be 30 meter per second. Of course, this design criteria is for, from uh, one leading company. Each leading company, such as Total, ExxonMobil, Haller, Topso, uh, Technip, Accent, they have their own design criteria. It is just one sample from our last projects. So each project has its own specification and criteria. So if you are if you are working as project engineer or process engineer for a project, methanol plant, ethylene plants. Anyway, you have to follow the design criteria for that project. In each project or other projects that I have been involved or providing consultancy to, I've seen the similar tables, but sometimes this velocity, maximum velocity heads are different, this pressure drops are different. Sometimes it is more specific. They have given some values here, but this for this ones, these licensors didn't give anything about this ones. And they said that it depends on your experience detail, during detail engineering. And of course, it said that, for instance, pressure drop must be considered compatible with corresponding service. Later, I'm going to show you the meaning of this sentence. So we have reviewed all parts of the, this table for vapor and steam lines. But how about liquids? In liquids, the same happens the, to this table. We have different applications, as you see here, with different pressures, with different operating pressures. But here, we just have pressure drop and maximum velocity. Because it is in liquid form, and here we are dealing with the gaseous fluid. And for gaseous fluid, we use velocity head. But for liquids, we use velocity. So let's have a look at let's have a closer look at this table. If you're designing the line, sizing the line for the pump functions, and if it, the liquid is at bubble point with dissolved gas, the normal pre the pressure drop per kilometer in bar should be 0.6 and maximum 0.9. If during the sizing of the line, the diameter of the pipe is between, for instance, 3 to 6 inches, then the maximum velocity should be 0.9. But if you estimate the line size with a diameter of 8 to 18 inches, the maximum velocity should be this one. So you should go in this way. At first, select your application. For instance, it is non-boiling liquid. So the normal pressure drop should be this value. The maximum pressure drop should be this value. And you start providing the Excel sheet or Aspen Plus with a specific diameter and check your results or pressure drops or calculated maximum velocity or normal velocity. For instance, for first soil, you have given six inches. Then if you have given six inches, since it is within this range, between three inches to six inches, then the maximum velocity should be this value. But if you have tried, but if the result is not satisfactory and you have to increase the diameter of the line, for instance, you give eight inches instead of six inches in, in other trial. For next step, the maximum velocity should be 1.5, not 1.2. 
Here, let's check other applications. If the pump, uh, if the line is going to be sized for pump discharge and the discharge pressure is lower than 50 bar gauge, this criteria is governing. The pressure drop should be in normal situation, should be in normal flow, should be 3.5 bar uh, per kilometer and the value the uh, velocity is between 1.5 to 4.5 meter per second you might say which one is good 1.5 4.5 3 meter per second it depends on your experience and downstream equipment If the discharge pressure is more than 50 bar gauge, then we have another criteria. And that's the reason that creating the line list or line sizings is an arduous task. It requires a great deal of time, patience, and meticulous care. If you want to design and size a pipe a segment of pipe for water lines or boiler feed waters if the for instance you want to size pipe for boiler feeds if the pressure is lower than this value then the normal pressure drop should be this value and the velocity should be this value between these ranges and if the pressure is more than this one, another criteria, another pressure drop like this. And the velocity, maximum velocity should be between these ranges. If it is water line, cooling water and service water, large feeders between pumps, you know, in all situations, it is the pressure drop is 1.5 and the maximum velocity for this one is 1.5 to 3 meter per second but for unit line long unit lines or short unit lines we have a different you know the maximum velocity is a function is dependent upon uh, the selected diameter for different diameter different maximum velocity and if it is a steam condensate return we don't have pressure drop criteria for this table but the maximum velocity sh it should be between these ones you know if you check other tables or from other licensors, they might specify, they might have a specified uh, pressure drop for this one. So it depends on your project and specifications. Let's go forward and see some notes here. 3 meter per second maximum or 2 meter per second average at a storage tank inlet or in loading. So if you are sizing a line for a storage tank inlet, it should be sized in a way that the average velocity is 2 meter per second. A special consideration can be applied for copper, nickel or glass ring for plastic piping upon company approval. Velocities below 1 meter per second shall not be used for cooling water service to avoid solids deposition. And important notes for instance uh, in order to avoid uh, such phenomenon from happening in heat exchangers we increase the number of passes in order to sometimes in order to increase the velocity for army service velocity for army service velocity should not exceed one meter per second to avoid corrosion or erosion and erosion for lines containing mixture of hydrocarbon and water, velocity should be limited to 1 meter per second 
to avoid generation of static. 60 to 98 percent sulfuric acid lines velocity should not exceed 1 to uh, 1 and uh, 2 uh, 1.2 meter per second to avoid corrosions so far we have talked about line sizing criteria for gaseous applications for liquid form applications single phase and now line sizing criteria for two phase flow for preliminary for preliminary mixed phase fluid line size calculations the average density methods shall be used while considering the following criteria mixture velocity should be between 10 to 23 meter per second the velocity head for mixture should be between 5000 to 10000 and this calculation these equations the result of these equations should be between this value and should be within this range where the mixture velocity and mixture density is calculated via this equation the total rate in kilogram per hour is calculated via this one the rate the flow rate of the gas and uh, and liquid and the apparent fluid velocity v mixture expressed as this one's with this equation in meter per seconds and d is internal diameter of the line in millimeter for these equations for these equations In general, the continuous flow pattern should be ensured, such as a stratified annular bubble wavy flow patterns, etc. For horizontal horizontal lines or a slightly sloped annular or bubble flow, etc. For the vertical lines, in horizontal lines in a slug or plug flow regimes. And for vertical lines in a slug flow regimes, reinforced anchoring shall be specified. Line sizing criteria for offside line. The following criteria are typical and shall have to be supported by economic appraisal, long carbon steel water line, bona concrete pipe or a steam condensate mixture, pressure drop bar per 100 meter. In those in last tables we had pressure drop in bar per one kilometer but here we have bar per 100 meters so pay attention to these differences normals for for instance low carbon and steel water lines the pressure drop normal should be 0.058 at the maximum this ones and here is the maximum velocity criteria for in, in meter per second corrosion erosion criteria Corrosion. For corrosion resistance materials, no limitation of flowing velocity up to 100 meter per second and no requirement for uh, corrosion allowance. For non corrosion resistant material in corrosive fluid service, a corrosion allowance for the design service life and corrosion inhibitor injections are required. The flowing velocity is limited by the inhibitor film integrity. The process designer shall consult the project material and corrosion specialist who shall be responsible for impl implementing company approved guidelines. Erosion for duplex, the stainless steel and low material, the flowing velocity shall be limited to 100 meter per second in single phase vapor lines and multi phase lines in a stratified flow regimes. 65, uh, 65 meter per second for 30% chrome materials, 20, uh, 20 meter per second in single phase liquid lines and multi phase lines in annular bubble or hydrodynamic stock flow regimes, and 70 meter per second in multi phase lines in mist flow regimes. For carbon steel material, 
In case of continuous injections of corrosion inhibitor, the inhibitor film ensures a lubricating effect which derives the erosion velocity limits. The corrosion inhibitor corrosion velocity limit shall be calculated taking into account the inhibitor film wall shear stress. So, so far, we have learned how which criteria should be for the calculations of lines for different and specific applications. If it is, for instance, the line is going to be for gas applications, we know which table should be, should be used and how to use it, or if the line is going to be designed and sized for, let's say, liquid applications, we know which table should, you, should be used. And if it is for line sizing or for offset line, we know that this table should be used. Or if it is for mixture applications, two-phase applications, we have learned how to use this kind of criteria or what these criteria are. Now, in order to better understand how to use this criteria in practical and real cases, I have prepared some real case examples from our last projects and The first example, the first application is a normal application in all petrochemical plants. It is a gas application and we're going to size uh, the line, the pipe for inlet of, uh, in fact, uh, knockout drums. Uh, this piping, this pipe is between the gas station and they're not counter. This is a typical application in all petrochemicals and process plants. Our second application is liquid form, is a liquid applications. We're gonna size the line at the suction of the pump. And this pump, uh, the function of this pump is to increase the pressure of the water from a separator and pump it to another unit and at the end of course for line sizing at first we use excel sheets and then we use asper plus to verify our results to verify our calculations and at the end i'm going to talk about the experience my mistakes about one example Let's start here, my first example. This is the first page of the P, uh, PFT for methanol plants. Here, let's zoom in and make it bigger. Here is the natural gas feed and fuel. It goes here, of course, in the PFT, it is not drawn here uh, before going to the knockout drums. Here we have gas station. I'm going to show you the uh, in piano ID. After the gas stations, there is a distance between the knockout drum and the gas station. And this line is uh, connecting the natural gas knockout drum and uh, gas stations. So. In our example, in our first example, we're going to size the diameter for this line. And here is the knockout drum in detail forms in piano ID. And here is the line. Here you can see the line which is connected to this one. Uh, let me show you the page before that one. And here is the gas station. The gas comes from another company after the filtrations and measurements and regulations. It goes to the knockout one here. So 
or application involves or, cal or examples involves the sizing of this line. So let's see the operating conditions such as flow rate, pressure, and temperatures, and see how we can size it using those criteria. And we have in each project, we have different stream tables. You see here, EOR, SOR, lean gas, reach gas. So we have four stream tables. We have EOR, end of run, SOR, start of run. Lean gas and reach gas. Lean gas and reach gas is defined based on the methane or in some application ethane compositions in the natural gas. For instance, for our projects, we have lean gas when the compositions of the natural gas uh, contains 95% of the methane or it is rich gas when the composition of the natural gas consists of consists uh, of mainly 85% of that methane so remember that if you want to size the line for a specific applications you have to select the worst case scenario so you have to check different string tables for string tables and put the flow rates change the operation and the operating conditions and check which one is the worst case scenario and select the bigger diameter to accommodate all scenarios you see the here is the number of line and here is stream number 2000 so we have a natural gas with operating temperature of 40 degrees Celsius and operating pressure of uh, 52 bar gauge the mass flow is this value and molecular weight you can see the other physical properties and it is in vapor phase and in normal cubic meter per hour it is uh, normal practice to uh, state and present the gases in normal cubic meter per hour its density is this one and other physical properties and here you can see the composition of the natural gas or the stream here it contains nitrogen methane carbon dioxide and c2 plus with different you know in compositions in weight percentage and mole percentage, mole fractions. So, let's open the uh, EIPD line sizing Excel. I have uh, used this Excel for many times and its results is perfect when I, when I have checked it many times with Aspen Plus and Aspen Isis here you can see all of the Uh, characteristics all of them now later you can have a look at all of these values and see and all of these equations you can see the equations here I'm not going to talk about the equations here because we have learned we have been taught for many times about the velocity equations in thermodynamic in hydro in uh, fluid dynamic in uh, fluid mechanics in university and uh, 
therefore there is no need to talk about them I just want to show you the practical procedures that process engineers take in licensing companies or in engineering companies so let's go directly to the issue and see how we can use these Excel sheets system unit SI unit or English units we are going to use SI units and service it is You can call it natural gas material is carbon steel for natural gas with this temperature and this operating pressure carbon steel is the most suitable material for this line and uh, let's enter some the operating condition here this value for kilogram in hour per hour fluid phase it is vapor uh, temperature and pressure 40 degrees Celsius and 52 density is this value For this Excel sheet, I'm using the data from the uh, string table, but when it comes to Aspen plots, I'm going to just uh, use the Aspen uh, plus calculated uh, properties by Aspen itself. And the CP here, The viscosity is this value. Now, let's see the results here. Let's see the uh, calculation results. We know that based on my experience this flow rate is extremely high so three inches four inches six inches can accommodate such flow rate i know that based on my experience and even whether you have the experience or you don't have the experience such flow rate requires bigger pipe size big, bigger pipe diameter it is completely understandable So you select, you, you can start from 8 inches instead of 3 inches. 8, and it has 3 trials. You select 3 diameters, 8 inches, 10 inches, 12 inches, or you can start from 10, uh, 12, and 14 here, and see the velocity and pressure drop and velocity head criteria by the way the pipe length here one meter uh, one thousand meter or one kilometer has been set as the pipe length So here I'm going to start with 8 inches and 10 inches and 12 inch. Here we have a schedule number. It is practice. It is normal for process engineers to take a standard for such diameter. 
from my experience i can say that uh, when we select the diameter of eight inches to above it is better to select the schedule with a standard here now we have provided the excel with flow rate the fluid phase the temperature density and the viscosity and selected the material when you select the material or change the material look at the line roughness here for instance if you select a stainless steel if the line roughness is gonna change or if you select the carbon steel the line roughness is gonna change to this one before going forward just let me provide you the roughness information in just one minute to have better understanding about this ones why these values are selected You see here absolute roughness values for absolute roughness for commonly used materials which are used in liquid and vapor line sizing calculations are as follow if you select carbon steel the roughness in inches is this value if you select for instance a stainless steel this value duplex steel if you select the stainless steel with these characteristics the value is between this and this one and I normally select an average which is uh, 0.00029 uh, uh, and, and other material with other roughness in inches or in millimeter that's here are the basis for selection of roughness based on the materials. And here there are other calculated issues which are not important. The thing that is important here is the velocity, pressure drop, and velocity. So let's check the result for 8, 10, and 12. If you select 8 inches, you see the velocity is 32 meter per second. The pressure drop in 1 kilometer is 12.8 bar and the velocity head is about 37,000. Now, let's get back to design criteria to evaluate and see whether this 8 inch results can meet our criteria or not here for vapor and steam lines so we know that it is the operating pressure is between 50 to 80 bar gauge because the operating pressure is 52 and we have to follow this criteria what we know about this one the maximum velocity head should be 10,000 we don't have criteria about max velocity or pressure drop but when it says that the pressure drop must be considered compatible with corresponding services look at this one look at here look at here all of this the pressure drop is between 0 to a 0 0.2 to maximum 0 0.5 so the pressure drop should be within this range that's the meaning of this sentence. It should be two bar gauge. It should be, it should be between 0 0.2 to 0.5 or 0.6. That's the average value. But our first criteria here, and something we can trust and count on is velocity and it should be maximum 10,000. It is, if you look at this one, it is 37,000. It has exceeded the criteria far beyond our imagination. So, 
it is not acceptable. How about 10 inch? You see, it is still not satisfactory because the velocity head, the velocity head is more than 10,000. How about 12 inches? We can see that the velocity now, the velocity head is less than 10,000 and is acceptable. But is it really acceptable? We should check other criteria, such as the pressure drop and velocity. The velocity of the gas, always remember that, the normal velocity of the natural gas or other gases fluids is between uh, 10 to 20 meter per second. Based on my experience and calculations I have done in the past, the normal value is, you know, it is around 15 meter per second. It is 13, yeah, sorry, it is uh, 13 meter per second or 17, around these values. So, for 12 inches, the velocity head is good. The velocity itself is normal, but how about the pressure drop? The note I just, I just stated. The pressure drop should be normally between 0.2 to 0.6 or 0.5. 1.5 is really high and not good for this one. So here, let's check another diameter, increase the diameter to 14, and check the results. You see, now the velocity head is about 5,000, much more relaxed. The pressure drop is good. I'm not saying that it is perfect, but it is good, and the velocity is also acceptable. And based on what I said, it is between 10 to 20 meter per second, and it is about 12 meter per second, the velocity here. And it is good, and the pressure drop for that service with such amount of flow rate is acceptable. So the finalized value, the finalized diameter for this line was 14 inches. To prove that and show you, let's have a look at the piano. Here, you see 14 inches. Now, let's perform our calculation in Aspen Plus and see how we can manipulate Aspen Plus and check its results in order to verify our calculations. Aspen Plus. I pressed new and gas processing in metric. By the way, don't worry about the Aspen Plus tutorials. EIPD is committed to provide you with the best and practical instructions about different simulation softwares. We're going to release comprehensive videos about Aspen Plus basics, advanced dynamic processes, sizing of equipment, and uh, we're going to provide during those sessions, we're going to provide you with the tremendous amount of knowledge and experience in using these softwares so stay tuned and check out our websites our youtube channels
if you are interested in improving your knowledge about simulation softwares, pro simulations software such as Aspen Plus. So here I simply select fine to select the to select the compounds here methane And let's have a look at the composition here. We have methane, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and C2 plus. Instead of C2 plus, I just state ethane for simplicity. But I have checked it, I have used the propane mixture of them and it's not going to have uh, any impacts on our calculations. I have checked it, so don't worry about this one. Nitrogen. carbon dioxide and the water is really negligent I'm not gonna incorporate uh, include water in my calculations because if you look at this one it is in ppm and nothing really nothing and a thing Sorry. I saw a thing. Now I go to the method to select the property methods. Peng Robinson is the most suitable one and click next to check binary interactions value and just click next this property input window pops up and I simply select go to simulation environment So I select a material here select a pipe here and select another string here
So about operating conditions, 40 degrees Celsius and 52. It is in bar gauge, 52. Then the total flow rate, let's use mass, uh, kilogram per hour. Uh, total flow rate, is this value. Let's check it again. And the composition, mole fraction, Here it is stated in mole fraction, 95% for methane and 4% for nitrogen. Yeah. Um, carbon dioxide. This value and this for ethane. You simply click next and go to the pipe. Section pipe lengths, as I stated, based on the criteria in table. The pipe lengths, because we the pipe length, we need pipe lengths because uh, we uh, we need to perform the calculation related to pressure drop, and the pressure drop in that table was stated in bar per kilometer, so one thousand meter. Of course, I can change it to different. Uh, units but here for just as simple as this one diameter use uh, inner diameter use pipe schedules and computing using user uh, subroutine i use use pipe schedules material is carbon steel a schedule is 10 we don't have any standard here so 10 is similar to std or standards nominal diameter i'm gonna start with uh, let's see what we have here. Eight and I'm gonna start with eight inches and compare the results. And about the roughness, it is in inch and We go to this page. Sorry to find it. Yeah. Here. And for carbon and steel, it is double zero eighteen. Now everything is set. Next. Okay. Everything is okay. No errors or warnings were issued during simulation. Now Let's go to the main flow sheet here 
and click double click on the pipe here each device each equipment is a block and we got the results here so total pressure drop as you see here is uh, is uh, 12 bar and just have a look at each in the pressure drop calculated by the Excel it is 12.8 we are in the results are approximately the same but how about the streams of course calculations by Aspen Plus is much more rigorous and accurate no doubt about this ones pressure is uh, mixture velocity we don't have mixture here it does just one phase velocity outlet is 38.4 and inlet is 29 let's check the results here you see it is uh, 32 and of course this is the average velocity but here in Aspen Plus it exactly tells you the velocity point by point here we can use, for instance, the plot in these sections, or let's say in profile, and see the velocity in different pipe lengths. Anyway, it is 38, and it is too much, much higher than the criteria. So. We increase, we have to increase the pipe diameter to, re, to meet the criteria. And the diameter is going to be increased to 10 inches. And next, no errors and warnings. Uh, go to the results. You see, the total pressure drop reduced dramatically. And how about the velocity? the velocity also decreased as I stated here the criteria is not velocity it is the velocity head now let's compare the velocity calculated by this software at here for 10 inch it is approximately uh, 20.37 and how about the Aspen plus yeah it is max it is the outlet velocity is 20 and the inlet velocity is about 18.60 but let's check the velocity here we can later in uh, my aspen classes and courses i show you how to put some calculators to calculate the velocity but here for simplicity i just use the scientific calculator So the outlet velocity is 20 multiplied by 20, let's be more exact, multiply by itself and multiplied by the density here.
mass density. Mass density. So the velocity, the mass density is about 37. Let's check the mass density of this one because we are multiplying the velocity of this stream. You see, so it should be multiplied by this value. So the velocity head is this one. And the velocity head calculated by the Excel sheet is this one. There are some differences between the Excel sheets and uh, Aspen Plus results, but one thing is the same, that 10 inch is not a suitable diameter for this point. Let's try 12 inch here. And see how it goes. Next, okay. No errors or warnings. The stream results. results now if you look at the total pressure drop it is 1.35 and let's compare it with the calculation of the excel sheet it is 1.5 they are approximately in good match and how about the mixture velocity it is 30.18 at the inlet and 30.56 at the outlet. And how about the exit sheet? It is 14.2. And let's calculate here the velocity head. So this value multiplied by the because your all of our calculations are based on the outlet stream. So this value so it is about six thousand and six hundred and fifty. And how about the Excel sheet? It is a bit more than that one. One thousand more than that one. And here, based on even 
by aspen plus and you know both aspen plus and excel sheets tell us that the velocity head for this diameter has been satisfied so there is one thing to check the pressure drop and of course based on the calculation of aspen plus the velocity of the gas is between 10 to 20 meter per second so it is in good shape but how about the pressure drop the pressure drop is 1.35 and as I said it should be between 0.2 to maximum 0.6 or 5 and that is not good for a normal service Now, let's increase the pipe diameter. To 14. And run it and check the result. results you see the total pressure drop is now 0.86 it is acceptable uh, you might ask you might ask this question you just stated it should be maximum 0.6 or 5 and now you are accepting this value as I stated if I say that for instance it should be, for instance, 0.5 or 0.6 or 0.7. I just want to provide you a kind of picture based on what we have here. Just want to show you here. Uh, let's hmm. wait a moment, please. So if you look at this table, you see, as I said before, it is around, it is for, yeah, it is around, you know, the values that I see here is about 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, uh, 15, maximum 1.2 in worst case scenarios. Based on these tables, and the experience we had in other projects, we couldn't select 1.4 bar gauge for 12 inches. But this is more relaxed and more acceptable. So it should be in the in the order of 0 0.9, 0 0.8, less than one bar gauge. And that's the reasons it is acceptable for us. And if you look at the velocity here, it is much more relaxed. And if you, let's calculate it here, the velocity head, this one, a downlet, multiplied by itself, and multiplied by the mass density of the outlet stream. So now let's compare it with the Excel results.
you see it is around uh, five thousands four thousands and nine and nine hundred and ninety eight and how about this they are approximately in good match of course aspen plus is more reliable so that's the reason that I say that you should use two softwares or two devices like Excel or Aspen Plus and of course Aspen Plus should be used for verifications so now based on the Excel sheets calculations and Aspen Plus we finalize the diameter of the pipe and it should be 14 inches now let's investigate another application liquid applications from the same project here we have a pump And the function of this pump is to pump the water which comes from this separator to pump this water from the separator to another unit or let's say to increase the pressure of this fluid this is the stream number Here I found it. The operating temperature is 138 degrees Celsius. The pressure is 25.6 bar gauge. The flow rate, the mass flow rate is uh, 76, approximately 76 tons per hour. And it is, we have only liquid phase. And here you can see the compositions, uh, argon, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxides, hydrogen, methane, nitrogen, water. If you look at the mole fraction of these ones, all of them are in ppm or, and we are not going to include this kind of percentages in our calculations. We are going to just give unity or one to water mole fractions in Excel sheet. So here it is pump suctions and the material is the stainless steel. select WLD and let's enter the flow rate this value and of course this liquid and the temperature is this value and the pressure is this value 
what do we need here we need density and viscosity the density is is 9 to 9 and the viscosity is this way centipoise Hi, I'm Mohamed Reza Beruzi, the manager of Educational Institute for Equipment and Process Design. I hope that you have enjoyed every moment of this video. I highly recommend you watching videos instructing PSVs and flare package from our website or uh, through our YouTube channel. By, by watching these videos, uh, you become a professional in design of various types of PSVs. Furthermore, you will learn how to use API standards in conjunction with Aspen FlareNet and FlareSim softwares to size Flare network and assess thermal radiation of your package. Now, we start the trial here, and of course, like a uh, table for uh, gas and steam services, the table for the pressure drop criteria in table for liquid criteria, velocity criteria, the pressure drop is stated in bar per kilometer so here the pipeline should be in 1000 meter based on this flow rate for liquid we can start from 4 inches later you can use this excel sheet and it can start for 3 inches 2 inches we can select all of them and by the way for the gas application for the previous examples we have started from 8 inches you can perform the trial by 6 inches, 4 inches and uh, see the results anyway I'm gonna start here by uh, 3 inches and 4 inches And six inches by the way you might ask why you selected a stainless steel because it contains some dissolved gases such as carbon dioxide and it is a very corrosive therefore a stainless steel should be selected instead of carbon steel and for such nominal pie size the normal uh, a schedule is 18 and uh, for this one is 18 and uh, this one we can select 40 or 80 can be selected now let's see so far we have entered the flow rate the fluid phase, the temperature, density, viscosity, material, service, pipe length, estimated, diameters, and schedule numbers. You don't need to change anything here because when you change the material, it's going to be changed based on the materials. Here, the velocity calculated by this exercise for 3 inch is 5.36 meter per second the pressure drop is 34.6 and of course we don't need to calculate the velocity for liquid form and let's check the design criteria 
for liquid to evaluate the calculated results and check whether the three inch is good for it or not. We know that it is pump suctions and the liquid is not at bubble point with dissolved gas. It is, uh, of course, with dissolved gas, but it is not at bubble point. So we have non boiling liquids. The criteria for non boiling liquid the normal pressure drop it should be. 2.3 bar and the maximum velocity because we select this 3 inches the maximum velocity should be 1.2 normal pressure drop and normal maximum velocity now let's check it with our results you see the velocity is 5.36 and it is uh, more than 1.2 and how about the pressure drop? It is much more than this value. So it is not acceptable. So how about 4 inches? The velocity is still more than 1.2 and the pressure drop is still, it, uh, it is still more than 2.3 bar per kilometer. How about 6 inches? the pressure drop is good because it is lower than this value but the velocity is a little more than this value you might say that it is also acceptable to because it is a little more than this value but we want it to be more relaxed. It is too critical. So we select 8 inches. We increase the diameter to 8 inches and check the results. And when it becomes 8 inches, it becomes a standard. How about this one? You see, the pressure drop is very low, the velocity is really relaxed. And it is less than 1.5, and the pressure drop is less than 2.3. Therefore, based on the calculation of this Excel sheet, 8 inches is selected for this section, for this pipe, at the suction of the pump. But how about asphalt loss? Unfortunately, because the battery of my laptop finished abruptly, it became empty suddenly. Everything, uh, my laptop shut down and I couldn't save the previous files. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to start it again. New gas processing, gas processing with metric units open. Find water. Find water. Then we go to the method. We select an RTL. And Select next. This properties input window uh, pops up, and we select go to a simulation environment. Uh, we 
you select material then you select a pipe here Of course, you might say that uh, why you see sometimes some slow motions of uh, these, uh, you know, figures, you know, because right now, even though my laptop has good configurations, sometimes uh, it is difficult for my laptop to cope with different, uh, you know, uh, with this situation in which I have different softwares open at the same times. Right now, I have, oh, I have uh, Aspen Plus, Camtasia for recording, and Exercise, other things, and it is really heavy for laptop to cope with. Anyway. Now, uh, let's check the operating condition. Let's put uh, input to the uh, streams here based on the data we have. The temperature is this value, 138 and the pressure is this value total mass mass Power. And here is the flow rate. Mold fraction one. Okay. and click next uh, pipe length should be 1000 we use use pipe schedule here material is stainless steel A schedule uh, The schedule is for now. We select uh, this one and we start with four inches. Here we have four, six, eight. There is no need to check three inches. So we have selected a stainless steel with this schedule, with this no, uh, nominal diameter, pipe length, and here we have to change this one. To check the roughness here. 
average value double O double and zero and twenty nine. Next, now let's check the results here. There are some, you know, these warnings. You, can you see the uh, sign here? the red sign, the yellow sign. It says thermal option is required for single component model unless phase one is specified. Calculation will continue with in phase one, phase liquid, of course it is okay. So not a kind of problem, it's a big problem for us. And let's check the pipe results here the total pressure drop calculated by the Aspen plus is 8.95 let's check the results for this it is 4 inches the pressure drop is 8.2 but for Aspen Plus, it is 8.95. And how about the velocity? The velocity is at the outlet and at the inlet are the same. It is 3.26. And we'll calculated by the Excel city 3.08. There are some small differences between velocities. But the things that we can conclude from the results of Excelsius and Aspen Plus is that this 4 inch is not a suitable diameter. How about 6 inch? Let's increase it. And run it again. Results. You see? Uh, the pressure drop, total pressure drop, now is one point. No seven for this sizing, and how about the Excel sheet for six inch? It is no point eight, and how about the, the stream? The mixture velocity, of course, it is as I said, it is not mixture, it is one phase one point forty three. For both inlet and outlet. How about the Excel calculations? 1.22 for 6 inch. So, again, based on the Aspen Plus and Excel sheet, the, we can decide that. We can understand that the 6 inch is not also suitable for this point. Of course, the decision based on Aspen Plus is much e easier because if you look at this value, it is a kind of critical and sometimes we might accept 6 inch, but based on Aspen Plus, the velocity is really more than, you know, 1.2, which was maximum velocity 
for six inches so it is easier based to make decisions based on asphalt laws but how about eight inches it is not good six inch was not good four inch was not good and we have to increase it eight inch next let's check the results here you see the pressure drop now is 0.25 uh, our extra it is 0.2 uh, here in good match and how about the streams the velocity is 0 0.82, 0 0.82 for outer and inlet. And how about this one? It is 0.7. Now, based on the calculations of Excel sheet and Aspen Plus, we can decide and select 8 inch as the finalized diameter for this pipe for this liquid application. So, so far, we have investigated two real case and practical example from our last projects. One for gas applications and another for liquid applications. And let's review what we have learned. It is approximately the end of our session. Let's review what we have learned. At first, we became familiar with these tables for vapor and a stream, vapor and a steam lines, and of course, another table for liquid line type. We stated that these tables and the values are our basis for line sizing criteria we said that the based on this table for gases velocity head and pressure drop are our criteria for line sizes but sometimes for some special applications such as the steam lines alongside those pressure drop velocity has the velocity also plays an important role and we should include it in our design criteria for sizing of steam lines and we said that unlike gases the velocity head is not important for liquids and we play just with maximum velocity and pressure drops and we check we said that each applications has different pressure drop and maximum velocity criteria then we provided then we talked about some notes here for instance we said that velocity below one meter per second shall not be used for cooling water services to avoid solids deposits it's an important sentence and we talked about the design criteria for mixtures for two phase fluids. You can simply extend the Excel sheet and use these equations in order to calculate velocity of the mixture and this velocity head of mixture and these equations and check whether the calculated sizing of that pipe the calculated diameter of that pipe is uh, within this range or not the velocity of that pipe or after after estimation of a selected after selecting a diameter for that point and checking the mixture velocity 
velocity of the mixtures and see whether this kind of you know calculated results can meet such criteria for mixture results or not for mixture cr criteria or not then we used excel sheets for gas applications for from last project and then we use aspen plus to verify our results there were some small changes there were some small differences between the results of aspen plus and excel sheets but in determinations or ruling out of diameter of a specific pipe for a specific applications the results were the same if for instance 10 inch was not suitable based on the results of both excel sheet and aspen plus we could decide that 10 inch was not suitable of course for 10 inch the velocity the velocity is calculated by excel sheets and aspen plus varied a little there were some differences between the velocity or pressure group calculated by Excel sheet or Aspen Plus. But one thing we could determine and conclude that for sure, one thing we could decide that for sure was the fact that 10 inch was not good, 12 inch was not good. Then we investigated another example, real case example for liquid applications the same procedure taken we at first uh, calculated the proper sizing proper diameter for that pipe for liquid application based on excel sheets and then we use aspen plus to verify our results and one experience in order to wrap all of this wrap up all of and summarize all of this and end our sessions sometimes uh, it is not like just uh, you know the procedure that we proceed on we counted on the it is a normal procedures for 80 to 90 percent of the calculations but sometimes we should take into account other facts such as process demands let me give you one example. We have a process oxygen line in methanol plants. And based on this calculation, when I was doing the calculations, I concluded that 10 inch was good. But the final lines diameter for that line was 12 inch why because the oxygen velocity and the pressure drop changes for oxygen is extremely important you know oxygen is not simple oxygen is not like natural gas when there are some major pressure drop changes or something like that or there are some changes in velocity of oxygen sudden and abrupt changes in velocity or pressure drop or pressure of oxygen might lead to explosions i have seen some of these explosions it is really uh, a scary and yeah because of this experience and process demands 12 inches was selected instead of 10 inches in order to relax the calculation in order to relax the velocity so that's the end of our sessions and i hope that you have enjoyed every moment of this video and you would be able to use this material these instructions uh, for your future calculations and like always i wish you a bright future and remember this enjoy your life and thank you for watching this video